Thank you for joining me. I'm Candace Gillespie from CandaceCanvases.com and welcome to Cards Cards Monday. Today we are going to use a lot of new stuff. This is Stampin' Up's Dots and Stripes. Um, oh brother, the name escapes me. Stencils! That's what they're called. <laughs> and we're going to be using our new craft card stock, which I am in love with craft card stock. So um, first of all, I need to do some masking. So you'll see three different masking um, tools that I use here that I just kind of have laying around. This first one are post-it notes. Um, excuse my head here and my funky headband just to keep my hair back. But I'm um, just lining up post-its at the crease of the card at the top. So as I sponge on ink um, over this uh, mask here, it won't go to the back of the card. Next we're going to take some paper snips and trim up some washi tape. This is our second form of a mask and um, and I've just cut those banner tails. Now here's a mistake I make. I didn't take as much sticky off of this as I could. Be and the thing with our craft card stock is it's real it's very it's full of texture. So um, it sticks really good that, you know, anyway, you'll see. I'll point it out to you. Next is um, our third tool that you can use for masking is masking tape. It typically works great. Here I'm just using it um, to hold down my stencil. So here's a beautiful Lost Lagoon. Um, classic Stampin' Ink. This is from our new 2014-2015 annual catalog. And um, I'm taking a... This is how I make my little um, ink tools or whatever. I just take one of these Stampin' sponges, I cut it in eighths, and I just have a ton of these clothespins hanging around. And um, I'm going to use that as my handle. I don't put it all the way down. You can see I left some room at the fuller tip there and that's so it can load up with ink as time goes on. So I'm just dipping it in there and I am sponging it onto my card base here through my template. So you just do this to your heart's content. If you want it darker you apply more ink. Now I plan on applying three different colors, all three from our new in colors. So I'm leaving room for those, for the three. Next is our Blackberry Bliss. It's absolutely beautiful, you'll see here. And this is on craft cardstock, so it shows up so wonderfully. These three colors, you'll see the next one I'm gonna use, but they just show up so well on this craft cardstock. I don't know what it is, I love the craft cardstock. So then um, we put the Blackberry Bliss away and we bring in Hello Honey. Oh, I decided I wanted it to be a little bit darker and I wanted to blend those a little bit better where the two colors meet. So I brought back the Lost Lagoon and I just kind of blended that a little better. And then here is Hello Honey, it's a beautiful yellow color. Um, and I have to make a new Stampin' tool or sponge tool for that too. But uh, Usually what I do is I write the name of it. You saw me do this with the Lost Lagoon, but I write the name of the ink on the handle with permanent marker. So anyway, we are being sure to um, blend in to the other color below it. And this works really well because they're thinner water-soluble inks. Now here's the second part to this technique that I learned. I learned both the sponging through this the circle template and this off-placed um, gel pen technique from Christina Warner. Visit her blog. Christina Warner um, is her name and I think it's K Warner Designs is her website. So the first time I placed this template down I decided before I put the gel pen on it I need to dry the ink really well because otherwise the gel pen would just slide around and it wouldn't it wouldn't have anything to stick to. So I just used my heat tool to do that. Now I'm I'm off placing my template here by about 16th of an inch and I realized that that was not far enough. 
when I did this first little go here, it was just enough for my pen line and you couldn't see the craft card stock under it. So then I decided to move it to about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit less, but um, you know, give it a go for yourself and see what works best for you. Eighth of an inch might be a little bit too much, but you get the, you get the point here. Um, now I'm gonna zoom in because I'm not doing a complete circle on some of them I am, don't get me wrong, but here you'll see I'm doing kind of a disconnect. I'm just kind of making it look like shine, I guess. You can see it there. And I'm doing it totally random. Some of the circles I'm filling in all the way and these little specks are gonna come in at just random times. So I just wanted to make sure you had a good idea of what this looked like. I'm, I am putting ink on the entire, around the entire circle. And here's Christina's name if you're wondering how to spell it. <laughs> Make sure to check her channel out. She's just an amazing crafter. She's so skilled and talented and she actually used to work for Stampin' Up! So <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. And she currently works for Simon St Says Stamps and she designs stamps for them and all kinds of fun crafty things. Okay, so here we are. The template is lifted, rather the stencil is lifted, and here's where you sh I should have taken off most of the sticky. It tears my paper right off. It stuck so well to the texture of the craft card stock. There was no repairing it. I, I, I was looking at it thinking maybe if I left the tape down it would look normal. It just doesn't. So I'm bringing in another stamp set. This stamp set is gorgeous and it is only available through the Hostess program. And you can do that by um, either two ways, hosting a workshop, at, an in-home workshop. And um, when your party sales total $150 and above, you can pick this free stamp set. Or you can, um, if you place an order of $150 or more yourself, you have an option. You Basically, you get $25 in free cash to spend, and you can buy this stamp set. So um, it's a beautiful stamp set. It has gorgeously sketched flowers and um, sentiments, sympathy sentiments, and, um, gr and greetings on it. And this happy birthday one, it's just lovely. So there we are. Now I'm taking just a T-square ruler very inexpensive tool I just found at my craft, local craft store and I'm using my favorite Uniball Signo white gel pen that same one we used to make the circles and I'm making a faux stitch mark later on I decided I wanted to connect these dots to make it a straight line um, but you can have a chance to see what you think with it stitched or filled in completely so here's what it looks like stitched and I I'll pretty sure I zoom in. I may not. Anyway, <laughs> oh yeah, I bring it up to the camera. So the one thing too with the craft cardstock being ripped like that with that top layer, it's super porous and the ink just, it's just not the best. Anyway, learned, lesson learned. This is my first go at this kind of card. So what can I say? Now here's my struggle. If you ever thought you were the only one on the planet who struggled with bow tying, that is not the truth. <laughs> Here I take, and this is even sped up too, but it, it took me so long to get this stinking bow to tie. I tie it and it just fell super loose. I did see, um, what is she? What is her YouTube name? Prairie Paper and Ink. Um, she's another fabulous crafter, um, card maker specifically and uh, she has a she uses a tool a, a tweezer tool to hold it while she ties it I think that's a great idea I should really implement that but <laughs> right here I'm just taking a rolled up glue dot under that bow because I just couldn't get it any tighter and I'm just adjusting it to look beautiful and I'm cutting off the edges of it the ends of it so it's not too long and there's the first completed card. Now, the second card I'm going to show you is the exact same technique, only um, I'm going to outline it in black. So this pen, nothing special. It's just one I, 
I've had, I don't know where I got it, you know, in the lump of pens that you always have hanging around, but it's a gel pen. So it works just like the Signal um, Uniball gel pen. So this is when I decided, you know, I'm going to make this a solid line. I'm doing the faux stitching here and um, something in me just said, nope, make it solid. So I'm just making it solid. Now this um, washi tape, I did stick it to my sweatpants and a few times try to get the stick off. It's still stuck to that craft cardstock. It's just got such great texture. So I'm taking my craft knife and I am just slicing it just under that washi tape and um, and it worked for the most part. It did take off a fine layer so it's still very porous but it it's way better than my first go. This is my second go and it always gets better so I'm fine with it. And you get the message. That's what's most important. I could share an idea with you and you get what I'm, you get the vision. You Now what I'm doing with this, and I did this on the first one too, is I am rocking it on, I'm stamping it or inking it up with a Lost Lagoon and I'm kind of rocking it a little bit into the uh, Blackberry Bliss to get it a fade to kind of resemble the same thing that we have going on with our dots. And I'm just taking the kinks out of this linen thread with my bone folder. I learned that from Poodles. She's another fabulous crafter on YouTube. And I learned my lesson. I tied a knot first with this bow. So I tied a knot and then I made my bow. And that worked a thousand times better. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now here's where I decided to make it solid. Let me know what you think. Did you like the stitching better, the faux stitching, or did you like the solid better? I think I personally like the solid lines better on this card for some reason. So it, this is basically a single layer card. You have your sentiment, your um, stencil, everything is basically one layer, and the only thing that's not is the linen thread. So of course we can't neglect the inside of the card. Here I chose, I think this is three inches by five and a half, Whisper White cardstock. And I am gonna use the same stencil, only the sponges that I'm using are, I'm not dipping them in ink. I'm very lightly going over this with all three colors in the same kind of pattern. And um, just very lightly to give it kind of a, a shadow of this pattern here. And then I'm laying it, layering, for the, for the one that I did, a black gel pen, I'm layering it over some basic black cardstock using the fabulous new Fast Fuse adhesive. This stuff is great. It, it is a little tricky at first on how to kind of disconnect it from the reel, but it's fabulous. I, I literally do not have to worry about it coming off. It's great. So just sticking those together and assembling the cards. And then one last thing I did with the white one is I um, just kind of made some border lines here with my white pen. So that's it. Let me know which one you liked better, the black outlines or the white outlines. And then um, I'm excited to see you try this. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave your comments letting me know which one you favored. And remember, visit CandacesCanvases.com for any of your crafty needs, whether it's to shop, for inspiration, or anything else. We'll see you there. Bye.